you all right mates today I'm going to try and remove this alternator here's a bolt you have to take out the power steering I've already loosened it for this video take, take that out and set it aside Okay, I'll use a bungee cord here. Okay, now here's a bolt we need to remove. I think it's 14 millimeter. Next, we have these wires. Here's something the other videos don't show you how to remove this bloody connector. You want to bend that tab up, pull it off, and you can see there might be crud there, which might be the problem with your alternator. The other wire has a nut right there that I will remove. Okay, now there's another bolt you can't see. I've taken it out for you. It's 12 millimeter. And it's... It's over here. Okay, once we've got that out, try and do this with one hand alternator should come out. Now not only that nut I showed you, but there's also this bolt that needs to come out. And then the alternator will come out. Now here's something I want to show you. This is the adjustment bolt. The one on the right adjusts the tension on the belt. And that bolt we took out earlier, it goes it goes through here. Okay, I'm going to split the case. There's a nut there, a nut there, there. A five sixteenth seems to work just fine. Now if you want to split the case, this comes apart here, but you'll have to take this pulley off, very difficult, big pulley nut, you have to hold that and take that nut off, very difficult. I'm not going, I can tell by spinning it that the bearings seem okay. What I'm going to do remove this three nuts remove those pry it off take that off I've already done this speed things up this is your diode and this is your brush holder now there's Five nuts that need to come out. One here, one here, there, there, and there. There are five screws. Five screws that need to come out. Take those out. Your brush holder comes off. You see two brushes in there. And then your diode comes off. Now this looks pretty dirty here. We're going to uh, clean it up and then we're going to check to see if this diode's any good. You can look at your brushes. These, these seem to be pretty good. There's quite a bit of brush left. My uh, commutator here is kind of scratched up. I'm going to clean that up. Well, 
I bought a new radiolator. Here's, here's the old one. Here's the new. Also, with the kit, you get a new brush. There's the old brush. Now, what I like to do, this copper contact here, clean it up. What I'm going to do is put it on my knee, get some fine wet or dry sandpaper, and simply torn. Get like that, polish it up a little bit. Clean the grit. Clean the grit out of it. Okay. Now, first, I'm going to replace the brush holder. Not too hard. Okay. Now it's partially down, not all the way down. Now let me show you something too. Here's the new diode on the new pot. Compare that to this bloody thing. See the old dial? It's fried. Can you see? Okay. So we know it's bad just visually. Okay, now, remember this is not all the way down. I'm going to work. The brush popped up. Watch that. Okay. Okay, now we got holes lined up. It goes under the brush holder. Okay, like that. Now we're almost done. We've got two long screws. One goes there. And there's the other one. Okay, here's the other screw. There. What is it? Yeah. Okay. okay, that lines up. Other screw goes there. Now we have three small screws like that. They go there, there and there. We put the cover on. It's ready to... What I like to do instead of putting it on the car, I like to take it to the auto shop and they can test it. Uh, in case I didn't do it right, they, um, they'll they tell me without, without me having to put it on the car and take it off again. And this goes here. So it should work. Put put these nuts back on that we took off. There. Okay, one last thing. Might save you some money. Here's a diode. Unsolder this bad diode and put a try another one. Now this diode's too small. You want one that carries at least all oh, 10 amps. This one's only about 3, but you get the idea. Cut cut the legs down to fit. And you might, for 50 cents to a dollar, save yourself uh, the cost of a rebuilt alternator. Okay, thank you very much.